Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Version CS5 of Photoshop introduced the Mixer Brush, which allows you to change an image into a painting or create unique artistic effects by simulating realistic painting techniques. With the Mixer Brush, you can use bristle tips that create lifelike, painted, and textured brush strokes and also perform on-canvas color blending, and you can even vary the wetness of the paint across a stroke. It's a really neat tool. To use the Mixer Brush, first select it from the toolbox. It shares a spot with the brush tool, so we'll give that a click and select it. In the options bar, select which brush you wish to use. Use our drop down and we'll see the different brush tips and the bristle tips are here. And I think we'll select the round fan stiff thin bristles. Now we're going to paint these flowers, so we're going to also increase the size of our brush to 75. Then we're going to load paint into the reservoir with paint by either selecting a foreground color or by holding down the Alt key on our keyboard and clicking into the image. So we can Alt click into the image like that. Now, if you choose to load the reservoir with a sample from the canvas as we've just done, the brush tip will reflect variations of color in the sampled area. You'll see that in the sampled area up here in the options bar. But if you prefer, you can also select load solid colors only from the current brush load pop-up menu up in the options bar. That's that small downward pointing arrow right to the right of that. So you could choose to load solid colors only if you don't want those variations. Now in addition to standard brush options, you have a few that are unique to the mixer brush. First off, you can select to load the brush with paint from the reservoir after each stroke. That's this button right here. Or to clean the brush after each stroke, which is this button right here. We're going to go ahead and select the first. After that, you can use the preset drop-down menu to select from a variety of popular combinations of wet, load, and mix settings. That's this drop-down right here. You'll see them all listed. We'll just choose custom for now. Then we use the sliders to adjust the various settings, such as wet right here, which controls how much paint the brush picks up from the canvas. The higher the setting, the longer the paint streaks. We'll leave that set at 50. Load right here determines the amount of paint loaded into the reservoir. The lower the setting, the faster the paint will dry out. Mix right here controls the ratio of canvas paint to reservoir paint. A setting of 0% means all of the paint comes from the reservoir. A setting of 100% means all the paint is picked up from the canvas. Now you can also choose to select sample all layers up in the options bar, which picks up canvas color from all visible layers if you wish. Once you have the settings you like, you begin painting in the image by clicking and dragging with your mouse. If you want to paint a straight line, you can click into the image and then hold down shift on your keyboard and then click at your ending point. But you can really have some fun with this. We'll just click and drag. And you'll see as you do that it really starts to have the look and feel of a painting and like you're painting on a canvas. Really neat effect. If we want to go down here and work on the stem of the flower, we could go up into the options bar and lower the size of our brush tip and then click and drag into the image. And that's all there is to using the mixer brush. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.